In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Fumara's Influence Kit. This is new and this is in version. Let's go ahead and uh, look at the version here. Check for updates. One second. There you go. It's, it is in version 13.2.8. So go ahead and download that version if you don't see this. This is going to be under the media page here. And if you look on these tabs, it's going to be the fourth one down uh, labeled as Influence Kit. Okay. Click that. As you can see, if we open this, there is our uh, starting point here. We also have uh, in my file section, this is where your projects are going to be saved. And um, this is essentially to create quick intros or, you know, quick little things that you can add within your video, mostly intros, right? And it's going to allow you to create popular intros, all right? To get started, I'm going to go ahead and hit start creating. All right, this is going to pop up here. Let's go ahead and pause that real quick. All right, as you can see here, there are, you know, quite a bit of options here, you know, not that many, but this is pretty much all you need. I'm pretty sure these are going to be changing depending on what is trending or what's in style or what's popular. Uh, but for now, these are going to be uh, the options that we have here. Okay. Now to get started here, you're going to go ahead and pick any of these here. So to preview, you can just click on it and it'll play the video. You can click on any of these. It's going to download uh, the video and uh, and uh, and uh, you're going to be able to pr preview that. Now, if you look on the top here, uh, it tells you the name of the uh, template that you have. And if you look right here, we have our select page, which is the page that we're on actually right now. It allows you to select these different uh, templates here. Uh, next, we're going to be going over to the edit page. But before we do that, if you look on the right here, we have a video duration, um, you know, a little title here. So this tells you how long this little video is or this intro is, which is pretty helpful because if you're looking for something that is a specific uh, duration, this is where you're going to be able to see this. So if I select this one, so you can see this is seven seconds. Go back to this one. This is five seconds. All right. So now we're going to switch over to edit. Okay. All right, so once I switch over to edit here, you're going to see that we have uh, the different uh, properties that we can, um, you know, tweak here to to make this our own intro. So the first one here is going to be uh, the add video or picture. That's because uh, this specific um, intro has a, a video in the background. So you have the ability, ability to replace that. And I recommend using the recommended size here. As you can see, uh, the recommended size is 1920 by 1080. And this is because these uh, templates have a specific aspect ratio. And you want to make sure that you are importing something that's going to fit into that uh, aspect ratio. So if you wanted to add something of your own here, you can click add. And as you can see here, there's uh, it takes you into your computer and you can, you know, drag anything here. And as you can see, this is what I added. And this is obviously not 1920 by 1080. So that's why this is not fitting uh, the template here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I'll keep the default. There we go. Now, as you can see here, let's go ahead and move this a little bit. We have some text on the screen here, right? So what I like to do is I like to uh, move this, move the playhead to where you can see all the text here. So once you have all the text, you have an understanding of where the text is located and what it's actually doing. If there's an animation associated with that text or anything like that. So what you're going to do here is you're going to be able to edit all this text here. So if I wanted to change uh, the retro here, I can change this to maybe um, hello, something like that. If I can spell, there we go. So we're going to be able to do that. You can also move this around, move, move this text around. If you wish, if I can find, uh, uh, you can move the background as well. And the text right here, you want to find that double, uh, that those arrows that look like a cross. That's how you're going to be able to move text around. So you can change the text that is on here. And once you're done, go ahead and hit finish. Give it a second. As you can see, this is going to be added to your timeline here. Now to go back to, let's say you were like, whoa, I forgot to change one of these here. You can go ahead and hit edit again on the video here. And as you can see, this is also going to be saved in your my file uh, uh, section here within the influence kit. So I'm going to hit edit and it's going to take you back exactly where you were. Now, one thing I do want to note is let's go back to start creating here. I'm going to click start creating now. Now, if I select this one over here, right, 
I'm going to hit start creating. It will take you to the edit page. Does the same thing. Now, this one doesn't have, a, you know, doesn't have that many things here. Now, this is because um, it different templates have different things that you can customize. For this one, you know, it only allows you to, um, to edit this here, right? That's what it allows you to do. Right, so you can obviously resize uh, the text to fit within here, move it around, right? So these different templates are gonna have different things that you can, I hate how that plays, uh, that you can customize. If I select this one, this one over here, click start creating. All right, so you can see this, I can only customize the text, right? So different templates are gonna have different things that you can customize. But once you're done, go ahead and hit finish. It's gonna be added to your projects over here under my file. And there you go. So that is how you are gonna be able to use uh, the Influence Kit Infimora. I think it's really cool for someone who's trying to make a quick little intros for your videos where everything's already done for you. And you know, you, you don't really have to do much. But uh, that is pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.